Uh, hi students, this is Vijay Sagar, having 12 years of uh, teaching experience, this is the 13th year of teaching experience. So past 12 years I used to teach uh, SSC CGL, now I am teaching for this uh, state government exams. So if you want to succeed in arithmetic, you need to learn the concept from a book or a teacher and uh, then you need to practice a standard book then after that you need to write a test series then you are completely fulfilled so these three steps you need to follow learn the concept practice a standard book then you need to write a test series then you are like good to go for a competitive exam right sir. so today my topic is given with geometry lines and angles so today we'll learn what are these lines and angles so what type of questions can be asked in your exam so let me see the type of angles first so type of angles so the first type type of angles we'll see one is acute angle then obtuse angle then right angle then straight angle then we have a reflex angle then we have complete angle then we have something called complementary angles then we have supplementary angles so let us see what are these angles acute angle which is in between 0 to 90 degrees the angle which is in between 0 to 90 degrees is acute angle obtuse angle is which is in between 90 degrees to 180 degrees which is obtuse angle right angle is which is equal to 90 degrees straight angle is which is equal to 180 degrees on a straight line we will have this angle is 180 degree on a straight line we will have it is 180 degrees so that's why we call it a straight angle the reflex angle any angle in between 180 degrees to 360 degrees that is a reflex angle complete angle complete angle in the sense when we cover complete a rotation it is equal to 360 degrees that is a complete angle and the complementary angle see it's a complementary angle it is simple so this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 90 in this angle in this angle what we will assume this angle is angle a this angle is angle b so what is a plus b in this diagram this is 90 degrees so if I assume A is 30, B will be 60, so total angle will be 90. So 30 degrees complementary is 60 degrees, 60 degrees complementary is 30 degrees. So what are complementary angles? Sum of two angles is 90 degrees, then A, A can be set complementary to B, B can be set complementary to A. If I take 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 0 plus 90 is 90, so 0 complementary is 90, 90 complementary is 0. If I take 1 degree, 1 plus 89 is 90, 1 complementary is 89, 89 complementary is 1 degree. Then we have supplementary angles. So what are the supplementary angles? When I take a straight line, on a straight line, the total angle is 180, that, that angle we called as straight angle. So if I assume, if I assume, this is angle A, this is angle B. What is sum of these two angles, angle A plus B, on a straight line, the total angle is 180, we know. So A plus B equal to 180. When A plus B is 180, A can be said supplementary to B, B can be said supplementary to A. If I assume A as 90, B can be 90. So the total angle is 180. So 90 supplementary is 90, other 90 supplementary is 90. If I assume A is 100, B will be 80, the total angle is 180. So 100 supplementary is 80, 80 supplementary is 180. So whatever we have learned so far, 
acute angle is in the sense 0 to 90 degrees obtuse angle is 90 to 180 then right angle is equal to 90 straight angle is equal to 180 reflex angle is in between 180 to 360 complete angle is equal to 360 complementary angle any angle sum is 90 degrees they are complementary to each other similarly supplementary angles any angle sum is 180 so they are supplementary to each other so if I take the example 100 plus 80 equal to 180 so they are supplementary to each other right sir so these are the types of angles in the lines and angles chapter we need to know so in the same thing we will go to the next concept vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles so this is important concept vertically opposite angles so what are these vertically opposite angles if i take any plane in this plane two lines are intersecting two lines are intersecting then four angles are formed one two three four four angles are formed let me call it as angle a this will be also angle a if i call this as angle b this will be also angle b <coughs> So what are these vertically opposite angles? Vertically opposite angles are equal. Vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay. So whenever two lines intersect, the opposite angles are equal. If I say this is 30 degrees, we know on a straight line, the total angle is 180. If this is 30, the remaining will be 150. Again, this is a straight line. If this is 150, the total angle here is 180, so this will be 30. Again, this is a straight line. If this is 30, if this is 30, the remaining angle, this will be 150. So, 30, 30 and 150, 150. Whenever two lines intersect, the opposite angles are equal. So, we call them as vertically opposite angles. The same property we have used in our 6th class to 10th class so many times. So, this is vertically opposite angles concept. Right, so moving on to the next concept so next concept is parallel lines under transversal next concept is parallel lines and transversal so when i see the parallel lines and transversal concept so we should have two parallel lines these are two parallel lines and this is a transversal this is a transversal line this is a transversal then we have <coughs> four angles formed here and four angles formed here let me call it as one two three four let me call it as five six seven eight and we need to learn the relation between these parallel lines and transversal this 1 2 3 4 angle and 5 6 7 8 angles there are so many properties in between these four angles and these four angles that we will learn <coughs> okay so in between these two lines whatever the area is there we call it as internal area out of these two lines whatever the area we have we will call it as external area so this is external this is external so what are the internal angles now internal angles internal angles are inside these two lines 3 4 5 6 so 3 4 5 6 are internal angles when i take external angles are 1 2 7 8 so which are there inside these two lines this is called internal part which is there outside of these two lines is called external part so internal angles are 3 4 5 6 external angles are 1 2 <coughs> 7 8 so in this we have five properties we need to learn properly so the first property is first property let me write that first property here sir when i keep <coughs> 1 2 3 4 this circle on this circle 5 6 7 8 1 will match with 5 2 will match with 6 3 will match with 7 4 will match with 8 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 7 8 can be known as corresponding angles so corresponding angles 
So what are these corresponding angles? Corresponding angles are equal. We need to say corresponding angles are equal. So who are equal to whom? If I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 will be equal to 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the property 1, 2, 3, 4 is equal to 5, 6, 7, 8. So angle 1 equal to angle 5, angle 2 equal to angle 6, angle 3 equal to angle 7, angle 4 equal to angle 8. We call them as corresponding angles. So, when I take this circle and keep it on this circle, so which angle matches to which angle? 1 matches with 5, 2 matches with 6, 3 matches with 7, 4 matches with 8. So, those angles are same. If I say this is 30 degrees, automatically this is also 30 degrees because of corresponding angles. So, these are corresponding angles. <coughs> So, second property we need to learn in this uh, same diagram. So, first property is corresponding angles are equal 1, 2, 3, 4 equal to 5, 6, 7, 8. So, I am rubbing off this and go to the second property in the same diagram. Second property is alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are equal. So, what are these alternate interior angles? Sir, interior in the sense showing this is the interior part 3, 4, 5, 6 are interior angles. What is the meaning of alternate? Alternate meaning is opposite. So, opposite interior angles are equal. Who are opposite to whom in the interior? 4 is opposite to 6. Then 3 is uh, opposite to 5. 3 is opposite to 5. So, those angles which are interior, which are interior and they are alternate to each other, they are opposite to each other. So, they are equal. Angle 4 equal to angle 6, angle 3 equal to angle 5. So, similarly, similarly, similar property, alternate interior angles are equal. Similar property we have, alternate exterior angles also equal. So, alternate exterior angles also equal. Alternate exterior angles equal. So, what are alternate exterior angles? Same meaning, sir. Who are exterior? 1, 2, 7, 8 are exterior. In this, who are opposite to whom? Alternate meaning is opposite. So, 1 opposite is 7, 2 opposite is 8. So, 1 equal to 7 and 2 equal to 8. <coughs> 1 equal to 7 and 2 equal to 8. 1 equal to 7 and 2 equal to 8. So, they are exterior angles and they are opposite. So, the second property alternate interior angles are equal, third property alternate exterior angles are equal. So, this is the second and third properties in the same diagram. Right, sir. Then we will go to the next property, uh, fourth property. Co interior angles sum equal to 180 degrees. So, who are these co-interior angles? Co-interior. Interior is saying which is internal in between these two lines. Co-interior meaning is co-interior angles mean which are on same side of transversal. So, which are on the same side of the transversal, which are on the same side. So, if I see this is the transversal, 3 and 6 are the on the same side which are interior, which are interior, which are on the same side. So, angle 3 plus angle 6 is 180. Similarly, which are on the same side, 4 and 5 are also same side of the transversal. 4 plus 5 is also 180. So, angle 3 plus angle 6 is 180. Angle 4 plus angle 5 is also 180. We call 3 and 6. So, the sum of these two is 180. 4 and 5, sum of these two is also 180. 3 and 6 are co-interior to each other. 4 and 5 are co-interior to each other. The sum is 180, sum is 180. Similar property with co-interior, we have co-exterior also. Co-exterior. So, co-exterior angles, sum is also 180. Co-exterior angle sum is also 180. Who are co-exterior angles? Again same. Co-exterior angles means which are on the same side of transversal. Same side of transversal. So, who are on the same side of the transversal which are exterior? 2 and 7. 2 and 7. So, angle 2 plus 7 is 180. 
similarly angle 1 plus 8 is also 180 angle 1 plus angle 8 is also 180 okay so co interior angle sum is 180 co exterior angle sum is also 180 so what are the properties we have learned we have a parallel we have two parallel lines and a transversal then we have learned total five properties the first property is corresponding angles are equal when one two three four is kept on five six seven eight who are matching with whom those angles are equal we call them as corresponding angles and the second one alternate interior angles are equal so alternate interior angles interior angles which are on the inside these two lines and which are opposite to each other they are alternate interior angles uh, four and six and uh, three and five Next coming alternate exterior angles are equal which are opposite to each other which are exterior 1 equal to 7 and 2 equal to 8 and the fourth property we have learned so co interior angles sum is 180 and co exterior angles sum is also 180 who are co interior or co exterior which are on the same side of the transversal their sum is 180 their their sum is uh, supplementary we call as supplementary angles whose sum is 180. So, this diagram is important in geometry, sir, to learn, uh, to understand uh, basic questions. So, if I go to uh, triangles or circles or if I go to quadrilaterals, these properties are very much useful to answer complex questions. So, these are the basics that we need to understand so that we will answer some questions. Okay, so let me take a simple example based on this. So, I will take a simple example, whatever we have learned so far. Thank you.